So now that we have a share that we've created from PowerShell, the flip side is how do we access another share from PowerShell? And there may be times you'd want to do this from a server, right? There may be lots of times you'd want to do this even not from servers, but maybe you want to copy a file over from an SMB share or something like that. You need to move data around amongst servers and you want to do it in PowerShell. Well, you can do that by mapping to SMB shares. And what mapping does is it creates a local drive letter that's associated with an SMB share. Let me show you how this works. So let's start with this. Let's do a get SMB client configuration. Now, I'm not actually going to change anything here. I just want you to see here's where you can manipulate it. So all kinds of settings here for our SMB client, just like we had settings for our SMB server. I don't need to change any of them, but if I did, this is where you would do it. You do it using the set SMB client configuration the same way we did this set SMB server configuration. Same thing. Okay, so let's say I want to access the share that I just shared from this computer. Now, first thing we may want to ask is what did I name this silly computer? Well, we can find out using the command hostname, and that will tell us the name of this device. And that's not actually a PowerShell command, that's just a Windows command prompt uh, utility, so that's available at any Windows command prompt. And it just tells you the name of that particular device. Now, alternatively, you can find it in um, some of the environment variables as well. So this device is named 2019 Core. So let's say I wanted to view what's available on this server. And we're going to pretend here I'm accessing either another server or I'm accessing this one from a client. It doesn't really matter. So the way we would view it, you view it is with another command from the Windows command line tool. It's net. And so we do net view backslash backslash and the machine name. And this thing is named 2019 core. So if I do net view backslash backslash 2019 core, it's going to show me all of my shared resources. And here we're going to see the share name, the type, and then the comment. Now this one right here is the one we created in our previous video. The sample share, it's a disk share, and here's the comment or the description that we set for it. Now, if you remember, we had the get SMB share, which shows us our shares, and you're going to see here that IPC is showing up here, but not here. That's because there's a dollar sign after it. And Windows has this agreed upon standard that if there is a dollar sign after the share name, it's a hidden share. And so a Windows computer won't discover it. You can connect to it from a Windows computer. You just have to know it's there and type in the name, including the dollar sign at the end. Now, this is not a good method for security, however, because if somebody guesses it, they can access it. It's we'll sometimes refer to it as security by obscurity. Let's hide the information and hope nobody finds it. It's not a good approach. Also, Linux and Mac computers will access SMB Windows networks using a tool that they have called Samba, which is their implementation of SMB. And you can use Samba to access SMB shares or even to create your own SMB shares for Windows computers to connect to. In fact, there are some Linux networks that are all Linux, Linux workstations, Linux servers that use Samba shares uh, for their data exchange. And it works just fine. But the point of all this is that Samba doesn't play by those same rules. So if you have a Windows network and you've done these little dollar sign shares, hoping that nobody will discover them because if they run a net view or from the GUI, if you browse to a network, uh, it won't show those Samba shares. So those hidden shares, get the right word. Samba, however, doesn't play by those rules. It will display what Windows would consider a hidden share. So it's not a valid method for security, just so you know. Okay, so using NetView, I've discovered my shares. Now, let's say I want to access the share. Well, to do that, what we do is we'd create an SMB mapping. And so our command is new, not net, new SMB mapping. And then I'm going to give it a local drive letter and let's call it, you just can't use one that you've already got. So let's use F colon as our local drive letter. And then we're going to specify the path backslash backslash 2019 core, the server name backslash the share name. 
which would be sample. And it's always going to work this way. By the way, the same thing works inside of Windows GUI as well. Um, not the new SMB mapping, but if you type backslash backslash 2019 core, it will show you a backslash backslash server name. It will show you all the shares on the server. If you do backslash backslash the name backslash the share name, it will access that particular share. Now, in this case, what it does is it creates a permanent mapping for me. So from now on, F colon equals 2019 core sample. And let's say I lose, I, you know, I've been working at this and I forget what it was for a while. I can do a get SMB mapping. Mapping. There we go. And it will show me all of my valid uh, SMB mapping tools. Now, if you're not using PowerShell, you can do the same thing, or even if you are using PowerShell, you can use the same thing on a very similar uh, structure, by the way, using the command uh, net use. Net use is a companion to the net view. In fact, it's part of the same uh, net command. Net view will display things for you. Net use is what will. Uh, you can use to create a mapping. But the uh, new SMB mapping is the official way of doing it using PowerShell commandlets. Now, if I want to look at the rest of my commands for that, so let me get command noun SMB mapping, it will show me all of my mapping commands, which are pretty straightforward. Get, new, and remove. Pretty straightforward. I'll remove the mapping when I'm done with it or leave it up if I want it to be permanent. Okay, that's really all there is to it to accessing an SMB share from PowerShell.